our topic for this video is the combination of shearing and bearing stress under simple stresses. And then we will solve this problem. The lap joint shown in figure P126 is fastened by 4 3 fourth inches diameter rivets. Calculate the maximum safe load P that can be applied if the shearing stress in the rivets is limited to 14 KSI and the bearing stress in the plate is limited to 18 KSI. Assume the applied load is uniformly distributed among the four rivets. So, in here in our illustration, okay, we have two plates and then connected with four rivets, this one. And then the width of the plate is 4 inches and then the thickness is 7, 8 inches. And then we will apply load P at both ends, this one. Okay. So, uh, if we apply load here, we will consider two failure. The shearing, the shearing of rivets, and the bearing of plates. Okay, and then the shearing of rivets is uh, limited only to 14 KSI. And the bearing stress of plate is 18 KSI. So, we will solve the maximum load considering uh, shearing of rivets first. Okay, based on shearing of rivets, okay, from the formula P is equal to stress over A, we will calculate the, uh, the allowable P based on the strength of rivets. So P is equal to 14, uh, 14,000 pound, the allowable shearing of rivets, shearing of rivets, this one, 14,000 or 14 KSI times the area. The area is 4, the number of, the 4 is the number of uh, rivets, and then 1 4 pi d squared. So d is the 3 4 or 0 0.75 inch squared. So, the allowable uh, P that can be applied based on shearing of rivets is 24,740.042 pounds. Okay, so let's proceed to one, ano, to one uh, failure, the, the bearing stress. Okay. Based on bearing of plates, this one. From the formula P is equal to stress uh, times A times the, the area. Okay. And then the stress is the KT18 KSI. And the area is the contacted, uh, uh, the contact, plain contact of bolts or rivets to the plates. Okay. Let's recall or discuss bearing stress. Okay. If this is the plate and connected by a bolt, so the area based on bearing, consi considering bearing failure is, okay, this one. And then this dimension is equal to the bolt diameter. And then this uh, dimension is equal to the thickness of the plate. So the bearing area is the plane contact between bolt and the plate this one this one the plate okay so let's proceed so p is equal to 18000 which is this one the stress in the plates times 4 since we have 4 we have 4 rivets times 0 0.75 the diameter of rivets and then multiply it by uh, thickness of plate this one so the maximum load that can be applied considering 
uh, bearing of plates is 47,250. So we have well, we have uh, two uh, load considering shearing and bearing stress. So which is the shape? Okay. So the shape is the the lower is one the 24740.042 why since if we will apply this load in the bearing in the be in considering the bearing of plates uh, it is lower than the allowable load and then vice versa if we will apply this one considering the sharing of rivets it is more than the allowable load so it will over stress the bolt so let's check using uh, computation so from the formula stress is equal to p over a so the stress of considering shear shearing of rivets we will try to apply the allowable load considering the bearing of plates we will apply the load here so 47,250 then multiply it by area this one so the stress is 26,738.027 pound per square inch which uh, it is more than the allowable of 14,000 okay so if we will apply this one the three bits will over stress okay from okay based on the shearing of plates we will try to use the allowable load using the shearing of rivets okay so stress is equal to uh, load which is 24,740 divided by the area is 140.75 multiplied by 7 over 8 or this one okay so the the stress will be 9424.77 which is lower than the uh, indicated allowable stress this one bearing stress okay of 18 ks so the safe value is the lower this one we, we already proved it here in the calculation so the answer is uh, 24,740.052 pounds